Hello and welcome friends. This is Jason Waddell. I'm setting up a cue mix for drums, bass, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano in preparation for either the recording or mixing. And uh, no matter what, I have these live musicians, you know, so I want to get them going. So these are all mono audio tracks. I'm going to pull up the mixer here. And here's the mixer. And I stopped because I actually have two interfaces going right now. And um, those two interfaces are uh, the Focusrite 2i2 and the Lexicon Omega. And basically, if I go to Song and I go to Song Setup, I haven't labeled them all yet, but um, here they are. And you can see Scarlet. There you go. And then here's all of the inputs for the Lexicon. And then the two inputs. These, this, I'm sorry, this is outputs. Inputs. Let me go to there really quick. Here's all the inputs and then the outputs, and you can always add more here. Um, and then LR means you can use it as stereo or M for mono. So uh, whatever interface you have, again, I'm using the ASIO for all, so I could show this in a few different ways. And those are the inputs. That's what you're coming in on to record. As far as this is this QMix stuff right here, okay? Um, so each of these are outputs and every interface is different they have different outputs on them whether it be he a headphones output a main out a spit of out what i mean whatever could be several headphone outs or monitor outs whatever so um, those can be typically stereo outs and what you could do is this the sub one i could label the drum heads or uh, sometimes i like to just say drum cue or I even will name the uh, name of them and then I would move over my um, bass um, cue and hopefully you're getting the idea here and so on I don't know what's next I'll say acoustic GTR um, cue and, and what I'm doing let me move that over now um, Basically, I would probably give the acoustic and the electric the same thing, but if I have more outputs, I can do more. Um, and you may have to do the, give them the same thing if you run out of outputs like I just did there. Um, or if you only have two outputs, a, a left and a right out, then um, for purposes of setting up a cube mix, you know, just to learn it, you might want to just put them all on one, but know that the point would be to get everybody their own headphone mix, and you can use a head. Uh, headphone amp or whatever and so basically when I apply this um, they're now activated aha and you could see here drum drum cue and uh, I don't know if I can get this taller ha <laughs> there we go so I've got my drum cue my bass cue my acoustic guitar my sub oh I didn't name all of them but point being that um, each each of these can then send to one of those things the cue mix i can turn on or off or if i say i want less drums on that track there we go and then relock it okay or less bass so my must be the acoustic guitar i want less of everybody else okay um and if you if you hit the lock it goes back so be careful with that um typically you just want to lock the one whoever say this is the bass track so I'm going to go here and bring back some of this, be, bring back some of this, bring back some drums so I can just hear some bass. Well, that would be for the bass player, okay? Um, so the point being, um, in live situations for live performances or even for recording situations where you're recording a whole group or something, uh, people tend to like their own headphone mixes, and you can set this up ahead of time with a little bit of routing. I got there by song and then song setup, audio, ins and outs. So you always have to know your ins and your outs. And yes, the bigger the interface or the board, the more ins and outs you will have. Or you can do something where I have two interfaces hooked up at the same time. And so I'm using all of the ins and outs on those interfaces as well. So there's a little bit of routing for you. And uh, it is important to know how to do that. And that's the whole purpose of it is so you have different ways to get stuff out to people. Um, and what you might want to hear um, what one person might want to hear, that bass player might want to hear more of themselves than the other instruments, and that's, you know, pretty important. Um, so anyway, there it is. Um, that is how to set up headphone or cue mixes. Um, in, now I'm using Studio One. You can do this really in, in any uh, true DAW, digital audio workstation.
Thank you. Hit like and share.